Hey guys, Shadefire here, and welcome to episode 9 of Let's Play Alice Madness Returns. We left off after uh, tuning up the bottlefish and waking up a clam. And now we gotta do some jumping. I heard one of those angry uh, oyster things when we left off, but whatever. I'm sure we'll find one up ahead. Bounce fish. Don't touch the jellyfish. Now it's just another ship. It's like an aerial obstacle course. I hear a snout. Right there. What secrets do you reveal to me? Oh, jellyfish basket. I can always use more teeth for my teeth collection. Now this looks like there's a little something over here. What the fuck is that? Is that a giant jellyfish? Am I not supposed to look over there? Hmm. Well, I don't see anything else, so let's just continue. There is, however, secrets over here. I don't need health, do I? No. I see a memory. Oh, another not real starfish. I really like the glow effects on Alice's uh, outfit here. It's just a neat little touch, and how they kind of pulsate like that. As though she were really some sort of predatory fish trying to lure its prey. Odd indeed. Unusual, perhaps. Even extraordinary. But nearly nothing is unique, Alice. Ah. Yours was not the first brick home to be destroyed by fire. Do I have to do that again? I can't tell. so weird having triple jumps instead of just doubles. It's like video game history has taught you the most you can ever jump is twice, and then this game's like, nope, three times. Is there like an easy way I can do this? Or am I just going to have to do it properly this time? Alright. Moving right along. Clam Singer number two. What sort of combat scenario have you co- Oh, great, more crabs. Crabs and ooze. Take care of that guy. See, these guys go down in about one combo now, so... Seems pretty easy to just get them out of the way. Too late. I already missed my opportunity for that guy. Come on. I'm not gonna have repeats of last episode.
One clam left to go. Rule of thirds. Or rule of threes? Mm, rule of thirds is photography. Rule of threes is video games. Everything always comes in threes, or happens in threes. Hmm. This looks like a box puzzle. Oh, it's one of those stupid picture puzzles. What do you want? Help me, Alice. This poster for the show, it's ruined. If I can't put it back together, Carpenter will grind my bones. You don't even have bones, you're an invertebrate. Collect the four blocks of the surrounding area to start the challenge. So you have to be able to solve this in five moves. Also, we don't have enough pieces. The proper order of things is often a mystery to me. You already said that before. Too. Wait a minute, that's, I think that's something he says in the first game. With the levers. That one puzzle I got stuck on where there's three levers and you have to pull them in the right order. Pretty demanding for a clam. What happened to the expression happy as a clam? Help me put the poster back together. Help me, Alice, I'm useless. Well, at least it's not making me fight stuff for every one of these. And that giant scary fish is probably the way I have to go. But it's gonna make me fight for this one. It's gonna be hard because I have to jump up there while he's stunned. I think I got all the rest of them though. Come on now. I'll oh, just stand there. But you jerk. That has a surprisingly big range on it. Wasn't too bad. Quick, the 
before the show begins. Now just gotta bounce up that inexplicable mushroom. As far as I know, there is not a single form of aquatic mushroom in existence. Oh great, a big invisible maze of platforms. Which is better, I guess, than an actual maze of hedges. Which I'm sure we'll have to do later. Because, uh, apparently you can't have Queen of Hearts without hedges. It says it wants me to leave one of these here, but I don't see why. Unless I gotta leave it up here. Um, Alright, I think this probably opens the door and then I have to quickly race across. You know, if that cutscene to show me the door had opened didn't waste, you know, ten seconds of the time, probably would have made it. Oh, double fuck. Can I do this without it forcing me to watch that? And get stuck on the platform that I'm trying to land on? Oh boy. Hold this down for a couple seconds to get a good charge up. Toss that. And on there. And on there. And dash. Excellent. He could be here any minute. How does this work? Where do these pieces go? Alright, I got. F do I have five moves or 24 moves? This and this are in the right spot. And no, 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 no. Okay, what do I have to actually do? Okay. Move that. No, that's supposed to be here. Shit. Move this down. Move. What? I can't. I can only do up and down? No. Oh. That's really weird. It's it's mapped to up and down on the, the uh, directional pad. No, oh, no, never mind. I can use all of them. Let's so move that over. Move that up. Move that. There's a piece missing though. Or do I just have to move that over? Let us resume our place before our adoring fans at the theater. Well, that was certainly no Silent Hill Homecoming for of sliding puzzles. Seriously, that game has one of the worst fucking sliding puzzles ever. My gosh, you're not an impresario, you're a killer! The mastermind of a criminal enterprise! This world is not so either or, Alice. And I've done your bidding. You did a few errands, got your hands dirty, big deal. The show distraculates the crowd, shame you'll miss it. You need to deal with these sailors. It's your time. Time? Time? The time has come to talk of ships and, uh, and, and vegetables and royalty and, uh, and whether pigs have wings and so on. Enough of that, walrus. You start willing about there being too much sand on the beach, I'll have your blubber for breakfast. Shame on you, Carpenter. You made a promise. I had no choice. One can't always do as one would like. I'd have thought you'd know that by now. Once again, betrayed by the crazy denizens of Wonderland. Stop walking, Alice. Alright, so, ghost pirates. Oh, are these not the same ghost pirates? Alice, stop walking. Ok, 
Okay, there. For some reason, sometimes when you come out of a cutscene, she just starts walking forward. Okay, so these guys are harder, because you have to dodge them to actually be able to fight them. Alright. You can hear that little beep noise right when you have to dodge. I thought there was two of them, at least. Hm. Well, that wasn't much of a challenge. Pig snout. Also, for some reason, there was an anchor fish swimming by. The friends in our secret cells, Alice. Your rabbit, too. I'm sure Dinah was a confidant. Always about, wasn't she? Until she died in a fire. Surprisingly quiet around here. Uh, I bet there's more sailors here. Snarks are kind of annoying, but you can't really ignore them because they're fast enough to catch up with you. Alright, just me and you, pirate ghost. Pirate ghost, leave this place! Release them! Do they want to be at peace? They do not know their own minds. What's true of the living is often true of the dead. Man, everybody just wants us to do shit for them. So 
So we gotta kill his ghost pirates before we can continue down the path. Answer me, these pirates three. I see you there. have a lot of health. Be free, pirate ghost. Wait! Come back here! I'm a savior of a sort. Gotta follow the ghost seahorse. Apparently, the darkness hurts you. Thanks for releasing me. I never dreamed. What the? <laughs> it just dropped me off the edge. Thanks for respawning me off the cliff. God damn. Also, walking thing is doing it again. St stop trying to kill yourself, Alice. Okay, good. The solution to that is apparently just mash your keys until you don't die. Oh, switch to the horse. Nothing back there. Round two. Now, oh, great, now I have to fight some of these squidly ruins, too. I didn't even see that stupid spike thing.
this one. How can a soul be so ignorant? Gotta do this quickly or else we start taking damage. Really, as much as we can afford to heal. Oh, great. Double time. Alright, that's two of them. Hurry along, Alice. Off you go now. Before we start that fight, I'm gonna upgrade my horse. Yeah, red horse. What sort of buddies do you got, Ghost Pirate? A whole lot of them. Get out of here, you guys. Oh, I dodged into his attack again. I hate when I do that. Alice still makes shoe footstep noises even when she doesn't have any shoes. I guess they weren't gonna program different footstep sounds for every different outfit on every different material. Since apparently you can actually change your costumes at will. I saw that in the menus just uh, playing around with it. Which might seem a little silly since they're not that different in stats and stuff, but the uh console versions had DLC costumes as well. You know, the usual overpowered cheat costumes that they love to release for games. Come on. I'm right here. Do your little pop attack. Unfortunately, these little guys don't seem to drop health, so I'm kind of fucked for taking hits. Constantly dodged! No, I don't want to... Get out of here! Oh, 
the lock on gets a little the lock on system gets a little wonky when there's this many enemies on the screen. Like I can't even lock onto those bombs because there's so many of these guys around him. Luckily, I can use Rage to make these guys drop health, I think. Or not. Well, that's shitty. The game doesn't even follow its own rules. Is he just gonna throw bombs now? That was even closer than the last one. Do angels have this much trouble? Uh, I might actually die here if the dark hits me for more than a second. Mr. Seahorse. No, no. Oh, jeez. Try to go as slow as possible so as not to end up in the dark. Whew. No, don't leave me behind. I really need these. Ah, uh, fucking invisible platforms. At least it gives you enough time to heal up a little bit. Wait, what did that even do? Fare thee well, ghost pirates. And that w <laughs> And with that little bit of exorcism, I think we're going to call it here for episode 9 of Let's Play Alice Madness Returns. I've been Shadefire, 
and I will see you next time. Flutter, 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 flutter.